Singh and I'm a research fellow with One Worlds Connected. Today I'm here with Skander who is with Project Tawaso in Tunisia. They're trying to connect primary schools in Tunisia to the internet. Let's hear about some of the great work that they're doing in Tunisia right now. Skander, thank you so much for taking time out to speak with me today. The first question that I wanted to ask is, what really motivated you to do this project in primary schools in Tunisia? Well, actually, the smile on the children's faces is the real motivation for us. When we educate children, when we invest in children, we believe that the, they are the future that can change our country. So what we learned from these past generation, from, from the, the learning that we did in past Tunisia, we, may, we think that these children are the next generation who will provide us with the best information. So these children mainly are the reason why to do, to do what we're doing today. That's really good to hear. Uh, what are some of the biggest challenges that you think you face in deploying projects like this in primary schools? Uh, actually, one of the biggest challenges that we're facing currently is the infrastructure in Tunisia. So the infrastructure isn't that well done in Tunisia, especially in the southern part of Tunisia. So it's very decentralized between the north and the south. But we think that we can make it happen by the help of local uh, organizations and international organizations, and especially by the support of the government. Okay. Uh, if there is a story that stands out to you in the work that you have already done so far, we would love to hear about this. What touched you in all of this work that you have done? Actually, there's two, if I may. Yes, So sure. the first one was when I went to Kev. It's a city far away from Tunis. It's like 20, 200 kilometers from Tunis, the capital. And there was no internet. They were 2G connection, very low connection, but they were having electric devices, they have a laptop PC, but there's no connectivity. So these children need to have at least ICT courses that lets them use the internet. They are not even connected to the internet. They aren't even seeing what their friends in other countries do. So this is the first story that motivates us. The second one is with Sofian, this kind of, this kid is, uh, that we have taught in, the, in our past activity. Sofian is someone who knows too much about uh, programming. He knows even better than me when I'm an engineer in computer science. And Sofian really doesn't have any laptop, neither internet connection in his home. So his projects are done in his friend's home. So he came up to me and said, Skander, can you please teach me how? I really want to. I really want to have it's something that can code on. I really want to have this project. And that's when we thought that this project can help these kids to become the next leaders of our country. Sofian is an example for us, and we are really, really motivated to help him. This was really, really heartening to hear. Thank you so much, Skander, for Thank spending time. Much. Thank you so much. And giving us valuable information about the project. Their work will be documented in our case studies that we will be putting up on our website. And we hope to continue our, our collaboration with Tawasol. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sharon.